our dice. Welcome to this Stateless Code video. This is episode number 32 in our series nerddice.com where we create a tabletop role-playing game uh, application uh, using Ruby on Rails 7. And I note I said uh, stateless code video rather than code cast. This is going to be more about um, doing our this video and our next video are going to be more about um, pro providing some documentation for our application. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is adding a contributing file to the repo, uh, which we'll then reference in the readme, which we'll deal with in the next uh, video. So um, this was precipitated by a spontaneous pull request that we received um, in response to our video about um, Tailwind and Devise uh, earlier on in the series. I'll link to that video in, uh, in, in the description so that you can uh, refer to it. But uh, we, we did, we got spontaneous collaboration in this series earlier than I would have anticipated. So in response to that, I want to um, kind of have a, a contributing file so that we know what uh, so that people who are trying to contribute kind of get an idea of what the expectations are um, and and all that so um, and uh, there are a variety of uh, philosophies and ways to contribute um, and uh, philosophies about ways to contribute uh, in the open source world um, in this case there um, the primary purpose of this application is educational. So uh, even if you've got um, something that um, we don't ultimately wind up uh, incorporating, there can still be educational value to that. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to set the expectation that every single uh, issue opened or pull request opened is going to like get its own video on in this series. Um, so I certainly welcome uh, contributions and not just from people who code. So if you're into tabletop role-playing games or uh, tabletop role-playing game adjacent sort of stuff, if you've got a feature request, you can. Uh, we want to kind of outline how to uh, make that feature request known. Uh, we can discuss it. We can, uh, if you are both into tabletop role-playing game games and coding, you can um, go in the direction of um, uh, opening an issue and attaching, uh, kind of doing a pull request to implement your feature. And then uh, we can see whether it, it fits with the, um, the overall uh, vision and roadmap of the application and uh, go from there. Or if you're just a coder and kind of are, could take or leave role-playing games, you could still um, contribute. Let's say you, you find something that um, is a, uh, you've, you've got a better way of uh, implementing or refactoring some of the existing application code, um, something like that, you can certainly um, contribute in that way. So uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a markdown file. Um, so let's take a look at our, this was our pull request that I was talking about. Um, and, uh, but our issue here uh, talks about the um, contributing file, kind of providing expectations about that. We've got the documentation cat tag. Um, I'm also going to include uh, burn the co contributor covenant with fire, uh, which I um, one of my early stateless code videos was about. Uh, so certainly, uh, and I in Nerd Dice, my Ruby gem, where it was first incorporated. Let me. Take a look at the. I've just got a contr contributing section in the README of that file or that repository. But the idea being certainly we uh, invite and encourage uh, collaboration and interaction from people of all backgrounds and viewpoints. Um, there are uh, reasons why um, if we look at this. Um, the hilarity ensues. Uh, so uh, anyway, we've got, um, I, I, I'm very much in favor of 
actual diversity and actual inclusion. Uh, I believe that the contributor covenant itself and most codes of conduct sort of things are um, kind of by code of conduct trolls for code of conduct trolls who want to um, impose upon you a uh, bureaucracy in such a way that you can even, as the founder or an originator of a project, get kicked off of it by that standard. Um, so we'll include, what we'll kind of essentially copy and paste that into our um, contributing file, or into the repository, and then we'll also uh, reference it in the contributing file. Um, and then the way I, I go about this, so since this is going to go on um, GitHub, you can um, you can do a little bit of you can do kind of your your markup here. Taxation of theft, and then you can preview it and kind of um, iterate through that. So that's what we're going to do. You don't have to like. I'm gonna, I'm just going to essentially pause and do this, and then we'll talk through it because th there's no value in going through uh, me typing up markdown. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll I'll kind of iterate through how I want the contributing file to look, um, and then what I'll do is I'll just like you've got the preview version, I like what the preview version is, and I'm gonna take the, the right version and um, copy and paste that into the, um, the VS Code editor, and then we'll um, commit that uh, contributing um, stuff. Uh, and then uh, I'll do in the next video, um, flesh out the readme some more. And then what we're gonna do these both in the same pull request. So I'll do two commits on this and then at the end of the next video we'll merge it back into uh, our main branch. So I will pause and um, do my first um, iteration through this um, and then we'll, we'll talk talk about it. It might just be the one iteration because I'm, I'm not going to like show every time I click and do the preview and all that. Like you get the idea from what I just did there how the concept works. So uh, we'll see you back once I'm done writing this. All right, so what took you a mere blink of an eye watching the video took me several hours of real life to write and compose this. Um, so I went back and um, I'll show you the, um, the preview version of it is easier to read. So kind of started with a before you start, like we don't want to like um, make the set incorrect expectations. So this project is uh, unlicensed and CC0. I don't believe in intellectual property. It's a racket. Uh, so um, part of contributing to this is at least this particular body of work that you're contributing also releasing it under um, creative contribution zero to the public domain from a copyright standpoint and then also um, complying with the the unlicensed from a code licensing standpoint so um maybe i'll make a, a separate opinion video about that to elaborate further but you get the idea um noting coding videos that we make coding videos that's what we do so um in the event that you contribute to this project um we are likely going to use your content in a video but there's no guarantee that you do so if you are a jerk or a troll or whatever we can just delete your um your stuff and there's you're not entitled to appearing on one of our videos um we i then went and uh let's take a look at the uh how to do this in markdown so the um let's say you want to do code contributions you can do internal links here in markdown so um you can see here we've got um, before these different sections, we've got an A, like just a normal anchor tag, uh, with a name equals guidelines for etiquette, and then close it, and then up in our, um, for example, where we're listing the ways you can do that, you use the GitHub link uh, functionality there, and then you just use, similar to an ID tag in HTML, uh, feature requests, and when you click on it, you'll go to feature requests. Um, the, let's see here. 
anything else notable from a markdown standpoint. You can um, go to the repo and read this in uh, detail, uh, welcoming all types of and levels of contributions. So if you are not technical and you love role-playing and you the existing options on the market um, don't satisfy your needs and you say, hey, I'm on board with the idea of nerddice.com and I want to uh, have this feature available and this is why I think it would really provide me value or um, I'm uh, as a user I'm colorblind and the way that you do this really isn't uh, helpful to me, to me or um, I, I'm doing a uh, five click click path as a user fairly often and I think that there's a better way to do that and it, it's kind of um, inconvenient for me as a user or um, this feature can th this functionality confuses me uh, all sorts of stuff like that or wouldn't it be cool if dot 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 so all that types of contribution can make our project better and we invite it to occur uh, for code contributions uh, provided slightly more standards not as exhaustive as they could be not as um, concise as they could be but it it's an iteration um, and then uh, documentation contributions. If you want to do something like this to the documentation, you are uh, not technical, but you're a wordsmith. Um, you can uh, correct typos. You can um, explain stuff that we don't have explained elsewhere. Um, that type of collaboration is certainly welcome as well. And then at the, um, at the end, I note guidelines for etiquette. I'm not going to adopt a code of conduct for this project uh, and all of the bureaucracy and overhead associated with it. Uh, we're going to add burn the contribute, contributor covenant with fire um, to, um, to this repo. We'll copy it over from uh, my personal um, repo for it uh, and note here of the prevailing um, principles are be kind to each other, treat, treat each other with respect and um, nobody's perfect in the event that somebody messes up, forgive them. Kindergarten stuff, but not. Uh, kindergarten stuff and simultaneously um, stuff, lessons that people um, spend a lifetime learning. So it's simple, but hard to, um, to apply. Um, so that's the idea. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this I've got a link to burn the contributor cover note with fire, assuming the um, the same. Um, oh, it needs to be main, not master. Main of puppets. All right, so I think that will give us a not broken link there. Once I actually add the uh, the same file there, um, we'll, we'll test it after we push. Um, to make sure that it's working as intended. So let's go into our repository here. Check out a new branch. So now we're going to take this content that we've got. We're going to create a new file. I'm gonna paste it in. Oh, look at VS Code, detecting it as Markdown. How, how good of them. All right, so then we'll just save this. in theory. Is it still here? A little bit of markdown might have crashed VS Code on me. Oh, here we go. All right, so 
This will be in the top level of the project itself. Save it. It is in the right spot. And then we will get rid of the dot MD there. Uh, and then we'll copy, burn the contributor covenant. these two untracked files contributing I think I've spelled it correctly and I think once we have these two items in uh, we'll be good to add and commit them and we'll wind up incorporating and referring to contributing uh, in our readme so um, this will be kind of the first one and then we'll um, in our next video, uh, flesh out our README a bit better. And that might involve iterating on the contributing a little bit. We'll find out. But we've got our two new files. We will commit them. I'll write my commit message. All right, we've got our commit message here. And then we will push this to our remote. All right, that will kick off a build. We'll leave this issue in. Uh, progress until we actually merge the pull request after the next video. So we'll move the other one in into progress and we'll, we'll kind of knock out the two issues with the one pull request. Uh, but this is essentially done from a um, work standpoint. We might have to adopt, adapt it a bit um, as we kind of do references to and from the readme and stuff like that. Maybe there are portions of the contributing uh, code config standards and stuff like that that belong better in the readme or vice versa, but we'll um, address that in the next video. Uh, um, this did kick off a build, but I'm not going to monitor it since it's not really a code change, and we'll see you in the next video. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.